Hi and welcome to SLTV and it's Pete the Toy with your story behind the Sega Bosa. Alanda Pirates coach Vladimir Vimosevic, what's going to happen? That's the big story at the moment. Now let's look at the situation. Vimosevic first of all started on the back foot but not by any fault of his own. The mere fact that he came from arch rivals Kaiser Chiefs put him in a position where he had to perform. You can't leave Kaiser Chiefs and come to Orlando Pirates and not perform. It started well last season, they won the uh, Ned Bank Cup, but this season it hasn't gone that way. And is under pressure to perform even more because stories coming out the club that certain senior officials and Vimosevic don't get on that well, and it's simply because apparently Vimosevic has sidelined them. And that in itself puts even greater pressure. Losing to Kaiser Chiefs in the MTM final added to that pressure. Vimosevic has got to keep winning games, otherwise the pressure is going to get stronger and stronger. The mere fact that Chairman, the Iron Duke, Ivan Koza, called a meeting amongst the players to discuss performance means he's not happy. Now, is he not happy with the players or is he not happy with the coach? The truth is he's not happy with either. But then, ask your question when you go behind the scenes, who's, who is responsible for the players? The coach. So at the end of the day, it's much easier to get rid of one coach than to get rid of a squad of 24, 28, 32 players. So, unless results improve, watch this space.